Hey guys, welcome to another incredible five star island tour with JB and Millie. Hey. So today we are heading to the amazing island of Moonlight, so let's fly. And the island of Moonlight is a really beautiful cottage core island and it's absolutely stunning. Now, I've seen only seen a few screenshots whereas JB's completely spoiler free. So our reactions are like full on first impressions to the island, but from what I've seen, I'm really, really impressed. So yeah, I am definitely very much looking forward to this island. Now, as a bit of context towards the background, we reached out to this person quite a while ago, but the island was still a work in progress at the time. Since then, they did something amazing for us, which hopefully we'll be able to link and feature on our Twitter, which you can find in the description. And that's some awesome artwork. As you guys might know, from the last few tours that we've been doing, we've been discussing the fact that Millie has been converting Millitopia into being an amazing Hunger Games themed island. So the banner that we will have featured on our Twitter is done by this amazing creator. Like, oh, it is so good. It has our original islanders, Sylvia and Cody on it, along with a Hunger Games themed kind of text and... Um, the Mockingjay logo, which of course is iconic to that franchise. So please do check in the description below for our Twitter account because this is an amazing creator. So if they can do that with their artwork, I am completely blown away to think about the quality of this island. Like, I'm definitely excited to be touring in the moonlight. So we'll see you on the island. <gasps> Did you see the little moon they've made there? Oh, oh look at the flag, it's Baby Yoda. Oh, and these custom designs are stunning. Oh, we're heading straight back here on the dream curve to get these. Oh, I love that butterfly. Okay, so you should see the creator's Twitter accounts and any of the associated accounts on the screen right now. As we said, they do amazing artwork along with featuring that island throughout their Twitter feed. So please do go and support them to see any updates to the island. And of course, without a shadow of a doubt, you are sure to be blown away by the quality of their artwork. So please do go and support them. Wow, that's oh, stunning. Welcome. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Greetings. <laughs> I love it. Oh, Ooh, the little Lily of the Valley's right at the start there. Oh, that Lovely butterfly. Moon. Oh, the statue as well. Oh, wow. Whoa. Oh, this is so cute. See, I don't know what it is. Usually, like, we are literally just so thrilled to, like, just come to the island alone. And it's quite, um, moderately that we get gifts, but never, like, every tour is the last, yeah, the you last know, three, three four. four ones that we did, we got little presents. So, again, like, it's not a requirement at all, but it definitely does mean a lot just to know how welcome we are here, like... And as well, we seem to be making quite slow progress in terms of the game, like, say for example, there's a lot of celestial things that we don't have, and so, it does actually really help. Oh, so it's like a little outfit. Oh, there's leaf glasses there, so, without a doubt, because this is kind of like a cottage core type vibe, perhaps this will reflect our kind of attire here. We've got that lovely Elton John looking hat. Oh. Okay. I love this. Oh, I'm fully in style there with you, Jamie. Look at this. Was it the same glasses? Oh, no. It's just the little leaf that goes in the mouth. Look. <laughs> oh, and this is stunning. Whoa. I oh. like I'm about to go yodeling. I love it. So even the 49th toy did, we've got a little outfit, so it's really cool, because I know like we've tried to make JB's look more or less iconic to the channel, but I am so for like dressing up differently every tour, that's so fun. And look at this place, it's stunning, like that double waterfall, of course slider in the background, and these Ooh, mushrooms. Oh, look at this gorgeous arch to go into resident services. It's so grand, especially with the kind of... Um, you know, natural hedges and the, um, the green flowers. Oh. And all these are custom designs, look. It's incredible. And what's this? This kind of wood decking is very grand. It's a lovely artwork area here. I love it. And I think that's, um, what is it? Oh, 
I can't think of the name of it. It's Starry Night or something like that by Van Gogh. And um, oh, that lovely wave one. Oh, again, these pillows customised to look like kind of seeds for a farm area. And this is my weakness here, there. You know, the Cosmo shower being used as sprinkles. Yeah. I think that's just so fun. Oh, this is all stunning. Whoa, it's almost like a renaissance area. Oh, gosh, what a gorgeous cafe. I love and the I love KK this bar. I feel like we've not seen this before. No, and the KK song playing is so good. Oh my gosh, cake! Oh, I could do with some cake. Oh, look at that, JB. Birthday in a few days, JB. I'll get you a birthday cake. Can you promise? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you too kind. Oh, pizza! Pizza oven! Oh, I love all this, like, the... Wow. What is it? Is that Aries? Celeste. Oh, yeah. This is Pisces, the two ah, fish. Ah, Pisces. Maybe. Whoa. Oh, is it kind of like a spa area? Like one of those things that you get in like luxury hotels where you can like, whoa! I don't know you could change the light on and off. I thought it just came as a variant. But no, it's like that one where you can kind of just chill in the spa area and watch TV. Oh, I didn't realise you could place things on the cushions, look, but they've got the ukulele on there. No, I don't know that either. I, I think I knew you could stack them. I don't know you could place physical mm -hmm. items there. Oh, one of these cool little terrarium things. Oh wow, this is stunning. Well, oh, let's go listen speaker. to some KK. What would it be? Oh, is that surfing? Surfing, surfing KK? <laughs> Oh, this is really nice as well. We don't often see this brown variant. No. Oh, and of the lamp as well. It reminds me of how they'd be like natural, like a natural sand dollar. Mm. And I, because I used to collect those when I was younger. Really? Yeah. I've got like, in my, my parents' house, in like the top drawer, I've got like a box full of like old fossil things. Oh, oh I love these little mushrooms. My little garden. Oh wow, yes, I believe these are part of the awesome update. Is it the oh, awesome update? The autumn. Oh, awesome. Look, saying. they've done that stone. <gasps> yeah, and huge respect, because hours, hours and hours you have to put into that. I couldn't do it. It's too hard graft. I, mean, I kind of said on the last video that JB said that I'd do this, and I'd managed to get four in the same place, and just today I've removed them because I wanted the area for something. So like, I just change up the island too much to ever be able to do that. Gosh. You remove them? Yeah, you know the four near Broccolo's house? I needed the space, so I just like, got rid of them. Oh, I just thought they'll come back naturally somewhere. So, like, their neighbourhood! Possibly for the Animal Crossing community, that's probably the equivalent of releasing a shiny Pokemon. Oh, what a oh, lovely little area. Like a little library. Well, it's got like a nice kitchen to it as well, almost like a little cafe. Oh yeah, like a museum cafe or, I don't know, like you literally like a little book where you can read your book, have a cup of tea. It's almost like a book club place, like somewhere where you read books together, have a little oh, coffee together. Marshall. Oh, wow. Lily! <gasps> Lily! Get her! <laughs> oh my god, Lily! <laughs> Oh, that's so unprofessional. But every time, okay, here's a warning: <laughs> if we come to your island and we see a lily, as or professional any of our as we islanders, try and be, really. yeah, we will <laughs> we will run to them. Oh my gosh, I love Lily so much. We're sorry. We're very sorry. We're hardcore Lily stands. <laughs> oh my god. Love Lily. <laughs> oh, love oh, Lily. Little duck in a puddle. Duck in a puddle. Oh, and a lovely Ooh. little campsite. A campsite island almost. Come on, Jamie. Hot. I do like these Hot. little stepping stones that people use. Me too. Oh. They used to scare me just because I, I, I was scared that they'd make lag. But they're actually really cool. I mean, it's a nifty way to get about the island. One, at least once you've like... I think in the early game, it gets a bit jarring if you're having to go around your own island, you know, vaulting and laddering all the time. Yeah. But I think if you just do it as like a full island, it might get a bit bland. So 
I think it would be great to incorporate stepping stones like this into it, because it's just fun. Oh, and that little water pump there. Like a lovely little like spa area. See, and it's so cool because for all it's like a, a gathered together residential area like we've seen before, it kind of almost doesn't feel like one. Like if you look at the map, you'd think it would be a bit of like a, a, a row, as it was, but it, it just feels like its own little community. And I love that so much. Oh, and they've got an island photo there. Is that a show? Oh. Wow. Oh, and they've got those flowers on the doors. Let's go and see whose picture this Maybe is. Maybe you can read it, because I, I know that you can do stuff with it. I've only, I've only just learned that. Do you have to do it from the front? Oh. This is Sherb. a photo of Sherb. Huh? There's a message written in small letters. Born January 18th, Capricorn. Favourite saying is, 40 winks is never enough. <laughs> JB, I've just found your spirit animal. Yeah, words to live by. Sherb's Rainbow Garden. That's really Oh, how grand. Oh, I need so many of these flowers. Wow. Is this Lily? It might just be Lily. <laughs> Lily's greenhouse. Oh, and you can just imagine her, like... Sat in there, just like riveting like a little frog, and there's all the greenhouses. Oh, I love Lily. <laughs> I miss you, Lily. Like we recently got um, a Celeste plush toy. What I wouldn't do for a Celeste, like for like a Lily plush, like. Oh my gosh! Yes. <sighs> you asked me what I wanted for Christmas earlier. That's it. You have to find one for me. And if I can't find one, I'll make one, but it'll end up giving you nightmares. <laughs> I look like a one-eyed like lizard or something. What like a cyclopsian reptile? Oh, the lily of the valley with Lily. That's very fitting. I love Lily. Lily. Lily, I love you. <laughs> oh no, no, that's not a harassment. Oh, sweet-smelling trash. <laughs> That's a bit of an oxymoron there. Oh, the bakery! Oh, this is gorgeous. There's some nice baguettes there on that custom design, some sandwiches, and of course the wedding day, wedding event cake. Oh, carrot cake. And of course some nice coffee here. It seems like maybe this one's a tea and the other one's like a black coffee. But... Oh my gosh, that's my favourite reaction. Lily, stop following us. We're gonna get attached. Lily, I love you. <laughs> this almost looks like anchovies house. It's really nice. I wonder who lives there. Alright. Right. No, Lily, go, please. Oh, there's some really nice artwork coming up here. That's gorgeous. It's like a weeping angel. Oh, this is so good how they've got like it's symmetrical. Is this Red's Beach? Oh, Whoa. I almost got like a pirate ship vibe there with the wooden Yeah, floor. trade it. Oh, so it is like imports and exports. This is brilliant. Whoa. Rover's suitcase there too. How well placed is that? I love this. Oh, JB, what have you done to end up behind them? Where I wait for Red. Yeah. We would, at this point, we need our houses next to our beach if we want to wait for Red. And last time Red arrived, I ended up buying the wrong thing, so it's not even a guarantee. I know, and I deliberately left something decent for you this time, JB, and you, like, full on missed out. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, I love that islander. Oh, they look like a little teapot. Like an Alice in Wonderland. Tia, nice to meet you, I'm Tia. Oh, teacup, that's great. Your name's JV, I hope I pronounced that right. 
They look like they'd be, you know, that character from Beauty and the Beast that becomes the teapot. Is it Mrs. Potts? Oh, yes. Because Mrs. she's Potts. like a maid outfit, but also like a teapot head. I'm a little Look teapot. all these lovely Valley. They've got so many. Oh, oh I, I love, love this walkway. How are people so talented? Like... I always feel really good about our island, and then I do an island tour of somebody else, and I'm like, oh. I probably got a bit too excited about my island for a sec there. No, I think the thing about these islands is that everyone's per everyone's got a different personality. It's like a snowflake. No two are exactly the same. And that's true of islands as well. I think they're all wonderful. But they've kind of got their own little stamp of originality to it. Oh, this is all so nice. Almost and I like do love this cottage called flooring. A Patrona. Oh, look at them. Oh, it's like those like fairy lights, but they're like built into the custom design. How romantic is this? Like you said, there's the little fairy lights. It looks there's like a picnic. Garden here now, there's a it? there's this movie there. It's so nice. Outdoor theatre. See, that's so cool, especially because it's by that kind of booth area. Oh my gosh! It looks like they're playing like Wii Fit or something. <laughs> Take me on a day, JB. Take me here. I will. We'll go on a little dream tour. I'm gonna sleep there. Oh, look at those teddies. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's like swimwear over there. Is it like a diving suit? Oh god. Do you take one? Do you take one? I don't want to burgle it, but I kind of feel like we should. Like a bit. Yeah. Just in case we need it. Obviously, I'll drop it again. Please remind me. Oh! Because it's like a swimming flooring. Ah. <laughs> oh, this is really That's good. Epic. Oh, this flooring is incredible. I don't think we've ever seen a pool this well visualised in terms of the concept. Like, there's, there's been some fantastic infinity pools that we've seen, but this is, like, built as an actual, say, pool pool, and there's, like, a little kind of kids' pool there, maybe jacuzzi area. But that's so amazing. I love that a lot. Oh, they've got a little, little wand there. Oh, that's so sweet. We kind of coordinated that a bit. That is amazing. Oh, this little bird bus. And I really like how they've got the miniatures of the trees. Waterfall diamond. Wow. I want it. Oh my gosh. And this is such a good use of these wedding um, event furniture. And again, these Lily of the Valleys are used to amazing effects. Oh, yeah. Just look at that. that. With the moon above it as well. Oh, a little heart shaped pool. Oh, this is stunning for the oh, Abel system. Oh, a nice little bicycle there. Oh, Ooh. wow, that's stunning. I've got the Queen Alexandra Birdwing going to the moon. <laughs> oh, and look how they've got the blue here to fit in with the blue butterfly. It's like a nature walk. Oh, 
JB finally caught another turtle, so we've got over turtle gate now, haven't we? Yeah. That was sad though, because it was right in front of my face as well that you released <laughs> my little turtle. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll try and say that about laughing next time, I promise. Nice this time. is really cute. Oh, there's a little workbench there as well, which is nice. I always find that I need more workbenches, but it's got to the point where I don't want to ruin the look of an island, so I just want to carry one around in my inventory, and whenever mm. I need to craft, just drop it in the nearest location. This is so nice. Oh! Ooh, so we've moved the mailbox to here, and like this is like an office space? Yeah. Like for sending telegrams as a post office. Oh. That's lovely. Gosh. All work and no play makes JB a dull boy. The telephone box, like the TARDIS. Oh, and another one of those little locations that's like a chill library. And you can't get enough of that at the end of the day. I love all these libraries. As someone who likes to read far too much. I don't think you can read too much for any of Museum. I think the post box kind of threw me. I thought this was going to be a bit of a build up to their house. See, I don't even know you could have your post box that far away from your house. I think you can have it anywhere in the island. Oh, aren't these benches gorgeous? And again with the matching statues and it, they've had like, maybe at least, I'd say at least five or six of these on the island. Like I can't believe they've got so many. I like them a lot. It takes me back because yeah. on the channel, like one of the first consistent um, Animal Crossing series we had, I think maybe the first one was your um, kind of wedding season tutorials. Mm. I miss doing that, or at least I miss me doing them. those. Yeah. They were just nice. I hope they bring something like that back. Well, the, for this month I've brought the fireworks, so you'd think there's something coming up for September. I hope it is something to do with Harv's Island, because I, I underestimated it so badly when it first came, and now I miss it. Even though it's still there, I just mm -hmm. miss the event. Oh, and here's that cool use of the kind of hats, the hat, ma hat, ma the hat mannequins. Oh, they do that so well. Oh wow, and this one literally looks like a plate, that green print. Ramen and sushi. Oh, I love these like hybrid flowers as well. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Bravo, JB. Oh, all those hybrids. Oh, I've not seen the black um, variation of that. I didn't really think about customizing it before. Oh, here you get your Zen area. Oh, that's an interesting. <gasps> okay. I know what I want for Christmas. Bamboo beets. Bamboo beets. Oh, but look at that Zen tower though. How cool would that be for like a dark tower reference? I want that so badly. But I love all these bamboo beets. Like, <sighs> my favorite item in the game is the bamboo speaker, hands down. Look at that, like, if that isn't a thumbnail moment, I don't know what is. That is a cool song. It's something that we're playing, like, kind of like a ninja boss battle in a game. Oh my gosh, I 
walking through the house. No! Oh, that, that epic clam. Is... Have you caught one of them yet, those big clams? I have, yeah, quite recently. They're really cool, I love them a lot. They're, I find it so difficult to catch these creatures though, like the deep sea creatures. Oh, especially ones like that one that you had to like full on chase after for a while. Mm. I think one day if there was ever like an update where there were so many, we should just multiply it and try and like corner them all. Yes. Because we could catch them regardless, even if player two catches them, which will be me at the time presumably, and it gets sent to residents over, we still get them to donate them. Oh, this is lovely. Is that Blair? It's not, is it? I think that's another one. Isn't it Marshall? Oh, it might, could be. Yeah, I'm Marshall. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Count Marshall. As a count. Oh, and there's Nemo. <laughs> Oh, so you've got your Napoleon fish, the puffer fish, or blowfish. Vampire Ooh. squid. Vampire squid and the red, red snapper, snapper, looking very dapper. Indeed. Fish market. Oh, oh this is amazing. Another one of these epically custom designed docks with a nice observation area to see neighbouring islands and maybe even look out for your, your stray mermaid. That's so cool. A great, great area. And there's Marshall again, maybe buying some fish <laughs> to cook tonight. Ah, <laughs> they're preparing it there. Ooh. Little sushi stand. See, that's one update I really want. If they're giving us a vegetable update, I really want a cooking update. I'd love to be able to cook. Could you imagine that? Like, and they won't need to make it anything more than what you get with curries, with the curry decks and Pokemon. Yeah. Just give us a handful of ingredients, maybe even the ones that are pretty, just like apples, coconuts and everything. Mushrooms! Yeah, mushrooms, that'd be great. You just throw it all in a pan, you can make the stoves interactive like they've done with beds. And just do yeah. that. I'd love that, that could be really cool. Oh my dogs. <laughs> Aww. Doge. Roll over. Ah. <laughs> Tummy tickle. That's so cute. <laughs> I love this so much. I remember, like, when you took when you had your brief hiatus, when you took like a week out from playing. You got back and I'd like put a load of them around your house. <laughs> and you're like, what no, you are put these? them around the beach and I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Easter Island. Oh, there's the wand again. Seaside Diamond. Oh, 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 that's stunning. That's very elegant. It's like aerial. Oh, very nice. Oh. Yes, this is making me miss my slap stuff now. We have plans to get it back, don't worry, JB. That's what we should do at 100 subs, like an 100 subscriber saxophone <laughs> reveal. <laughs> J JB plays Welcome Horizons on his saxophone. Oh, I don't, I actually want to learn that. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. I love those. Have you ever used one of those IRR? What? A like, spinny the, table? Yeah. No. Have you? Well, I don't need to ask, of course you have. No, I have, because I always used to annoy my dad with it. <laughs> oh god, I could imagine you'd spin it that fast, something would fall over, and then he'd shout at you. <laughs> no, I was always a very good boy. Mm. Just a bit mischievous. Mm. Oh, I love how all these are the white variants. Like, they've coordinated this so well, especially with the decking on the chairs here. <laughs> it is. It's amazing. So elegant. Oh. <laughs> Back to the country look. And it is a wonderful cottage core island. I need a glow up for me. <laughs> you used to have one. Why did you stop? I kept pressing the wrong button. Like, 
I, I tried it for like a museum tour we did ages ago. I think even before the capture card. <laughs> oh, Do you remember? God, I, remember. I made yeah. like an explorer outfit for the bug room, a sailor outfit for the fish room, and like an explorer outfit like <laughs> like for this dinosaurs, for yeah. dinosaurs and. I, I couldn't figure out what to do. I was just sort of that there, just pressing buttons, turning into random things. That's why I got rid of them. You can see that on the video. Oh, gosh. Classic JB and Miller. Fishing area. Oh, how oh, lovely. Oh, this is sweet. See, how many houses on this island? Is it one? One, yeah. So it's interesting because it's like all these cute little things they've done in twos. So I wonder if they have lots of friends over there. That's nice. I think in terms of bringing communities together, Animal Crossing is by far the best game. Oh, I agree. Because could you imagine if we were like Pokemon YouTubers, as cool as that would be for me, like what interactivity could you have with other players? I guess you could collab with creators to battle or trade. But mm. you know, this is really the best of you know building a community. Like helping each other more isn't it other than just battling in a game. Yeah. The house! Oh yes and here's that sprinkler effect once more. Which is my kryptonite. Oh I love that how they introduce that as their home. Like not just this is my house, this is their home. Their home. Oh that's how we can introduce yours because yours is literally a replicant of our home. It is. Oh. That video is coming out and I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, keep an eye out for that. So we are doing a side-by-side -side comparison as JV's recreated our entire flat in his Animal Crossing house. This is stunning. Is this the wallpaper you get from the bugger? It is, yeah. I like it a lot. It reminds me of that room in the Kingsman, the Seven oh, Kingsman. Oh look, YouTube's on the computer screen. No way. Maybe they're watching one of our island tours, JV. Oh, they are. Look, you can see that's JB. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, comment, and subscribe. JB and Millie. JB and Millie. Oh, they've got the Animal Crossing Switch there. Oh, I really want to find one of them online. I'm oh, gosh. I will at some point. Cause I don't know. I only know like one person that's actually got one, and that's Harley. Harley oh G. yeah, Harley had one on the release day, didn't she? Yeah. Oh, there's your breakfast smoothies, JV. Oh, I've still got some more. Oh, and I love that coffee machine, that coffee maker. Oh, again, the white we've got, variant. We've got such a good variant. Cause I think we've again, like with the wash, we've got it's a yellow, yellow one. Yeah. And I'm not, I'm not a big fan. But I love that variant so much. Even the toaster, we've got the yellow variant. Oh, do we? Why? I don't know. I don't like that. <laughs> oh. We sound like proper yellow haters, you know that right? No. The last couple of videos they've been like... I like yellow. Uh, yellow. I like yeah. yellow. I like yellow. I, like, I, I used to watch Spongebob. <laughs> Eating. I used to watch Brum, that was a yellow car, right? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> oh, Brum. Your face, Jamie. This is such a cool house. This is like a house that you'd probably want to live in though in real life. Like if they remade this in real life. Oh, it's I'd stunning. I'd live, live there. The only thing is, is everything's too white to live with you. You're a bit messy. That's actually a good point. I didn't think of that. Well, the first week will, it will look really nice. Yeah. Oh, again, white variants for washers and things. Oh, wow. I love how they've got that fan there. Almost like an extractor fan, but it looks a bit more elaborate. Mm. Oh, it's incredible. I absolutely adore what they've done with the house. I don't remember seeing any happy home trophies yet, but there's got to be a gold one somewhere in here, right? Like, there can't not be. Because look at how well coordinated things are. From the desk to the sofa to... Oh, even that speaker, it's got like the white flower variant, like... Mm. It's incredible. Really incredible. I think it's amazing. Me too. Oh, oh, seven hundred. Is that the actual time on their island? That's time. Yeah. Oh wow. 
this is beautiful. Also, I really like this variant of desk. It's a colouring that I've not seen before. I love this little shoe like stack here and I really like how they've got the telescope at the window and the celestial items as well. Honestly, I used to have my telescope and I love that like the shoe rack and, and I love the clothes. The clothes are amazing because <laughs> I could never incorporate clothing into um, my home well. Obviously there's some rooms that I can't have that much freedom with because it's as you say a replica of our actual flat but I don't know. I really respect people that use the clothing as part of their aesthetic mm. in the house. But I think I just make mine look a bit clumsy. <laughs> no, you had a couple of rooms where you did. Do you remember when you wanted to recreate the end scene of Avengers Endgame? Yeah, but then I got a bit frustrated because you couldn't double up the... Like, when you had a full matching hat, like the samurai arm and the samurai helmet, you couldn't blend them together oh, to make yeah. a samurai. You had to kind of stack them up and it annoyed me a bit. See, that's one thing that had been suggested by one of the people that we toured for an update, that they introduce a mannequin where you can like put a full outfit on and this is stunning. Holy moly. Oh, wow. Whoa. Like, what they've done with this, that's fantastic. They've made like a balcony. Yeah. <sighs> this, we've never ever seen this before. In 54 tours, we've never seen this before. I'm feeling very inspired. This is genuinely inspiring. See, is it bad that whenever I see something that we've not seen before, I'm like lining it up like, hmm, could we work this as a thumbnail? It's. It so baffles me that we're still seeing new things. Yeah, me too. And there's been so many new things on this island, like the swimming pool, that room. Yeah. It's just kind of like, oh, what else have I got in the store for us? Like, what an amazing creator. I wonder what inspired that. That's got to be one of our Q&A questions. Because, mm. oh, it's so Oh, good. this is gorgeous too. Oh, and again, Guardians vibes, but more of like... A, like... A pink yeah. vibe. Oh, I'm very happy with this. Oh, Popcorn! I want to, and even... Oh no, we switched the light off. Sorry. Even pink to the I point of these popcorn. show lights. Oh, and there's like a pink dino variant. What's the news? The news. Good news. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think they won. It is such a cool outfit. Yeah, it suits you, JV. But it is also good because with a lot of people that gift um, us outfits to wear on the tour, it's also kind of beneficial from my own personal perspective as well because for all I love my comedian's outfit and I don't see myself making a permanent change, it's like... Every one of them I really like, but it's not something I'd pick out for myself as such. But it's just good to kind of get myself into a new look. I love how many of these they have around there. Look at that mushroom table and chair. Have you seen that before? Oh my gosh. I thought it was just a sand dollar from a distance. Oh. Wow. See, this is one thing I think the game does really well, is that I think at this point I'm definitely ready for the change to autumn. Mm. I just found some are really bland in the best possible way. Oh. What an amazing island. What an amazing tour. But this is fantastic. Thank you so much. And like I say, like not only is this person incredibly talented with the Island and Animal Crossing, but they're such a good, you know, artist as well. Like, it really is awesome. Incredible. 
So yeah, this has been absolutely fantastic. We are really looking forward to getting some of those questions that no doubt you may have been thinking yourself. We're really looking forward to getting answers to that. So as usual, we will be getting the dream code, which will be in the description down below. We'll be using that to go back to this awesome island where we'll be conducting our Q and A section. So we will see you for that. Okay, so we are now back at the Militopia Airport for our Q and A section. So yeah, again, the um, creators, Twitter at and all their details are on screen. Now, we do strongly urge that you follow this person in particular because like we mentioned at the start of the tour, they are an amazing artist and have even, you know, designed some incredible piece of art for us um, surrounding Millie's new Hunger Games themed island. So please do go give them a follow. Now without further ado, let's get on with our Q&A section. So the first question we asked is, how many hours did your island take to create? I have a total of 855 hours. And what's your favourite part of the island? My favourite part of my island would be my house. I love interior decorating so much. I wish we were able to decorate our villagers' homes as well. Oh yeah, see I've often said that and I do strongly agree, especially because you do kind of get a bad hand depending on when your villagers move in. For example, we recently got rid of anchovy from our island, not because of the house design, but we kind of took a look at the guide and we found out that their end goal, their end goal house was actually quite good, but because they were one of the earlier ones, they kind of got just a bit of a simple log cabin, which is nothing wrong with that. But in terms of what we'd like to create, it would be so cool if we could just stylize things a bit more. So that is amazing. Now, out of all your island, what was the most difficult part to create? I'm not a fan of terraforming, so the hardest part of my island I created would be the neighbourhood. It was a lot of trial and error to get all the houses to line up and be even. No, but like, we completely understand. Like Again, with Millie like, recreating the island, that is sure to have some very real difficulties. Now, in terms of future updates, what item would you most like, that, like to be added in? I'm actually very excited for the fall update. I'm a big fan of Halloween, so I'm hoping for some spooky decorations or maybe pumpkins. I'd also like to be able to grow vegetables so I can expand my garden. See, that's good. We did speak about that at length from on, a, on our most recent Five Star Talk podcast, so please do check that out. Link in the description below. Now, there were some really creative elements to your islands that we really, really did love, especially the swimming pool on the balcony upstairs. Now, where did you get the inspiration for this? The swimming pool was a custom design I saw online, and once I saw it, I knew I had to have a pool on my island. I also wanted it to be secluded. The upstairs balcony was one of the first terraformings I did on my island. I've decorated it so many times but was never truly happy with it until now. One of my dreams is to paint or draw on top of a mountain with a nice view. So that was one of my inspirations. No, that is absolutely perfect. And again, like, in 54 tours we've never seen anything like that. So, major respect. Now, do you have any custom design codes that we can share at all? Because we are absolutely in love with things like the paths. Yeah, I don't make any of the custom designs. So all of them are ones that I found on Pinterest, Instagram and Twitter. Um, the path is from at diy underscore nya on Twitter. I'll also give you her design code. And she has different versions of that path as well. Okay, that's fantastic. So please do check down in the descriptions for all those details because we are sure that they'll inspire you quite significantly. Now, what is the future of your island? I plan on updating my island for every season, just because I like to be festive, so I'm hoping they put out more new items. And who's your favourite islander? I love all my islanders, but I'd have to say Lily and Sherb are my favourite. Yes, Lily. Lily is absolutely incredible. Oh, we are in love with Lily. So yeah, Team Lily. Hashtag Team Lily in the comment section. Now, here's the big one. Is this your first Animal Crossing game? Yes, it's my first ever Animal Crossing game. Well, I did play Pocket Camp on my phone before this, but I don't know if that counts. But honestly, I'm so glad I got into it because it really tests my creativity. I also appreciate the Animal Crossing community on Twitter because I've met so many awesome people and it's so nice to see what other people create. Well, we absolutely can speak to that 100%. We've spoken about it multiple times in the podcast, and I think it really is just such a friendly community. So yeah, we really do hope that you enjoyed this Five Star Island tour. We absolutely adored it. We'd love the, for the opportunity to come back at some point. 
And again, you know, we're really just looking forward to inviting the creator back to this island because of the amazing artwork they did for the Hunger Games theme. We'd love to kind of see that theme utilised. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. JB and Millie.